Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Foods UK, out foraging again, and I found some lovely things to show you. I, I actually, I found them the other day, and since then, uh, the lawn here has been mowed, unfortunately, which has taken away some of the larger specimens, but I'm gonna show you a really vigorous mushroom. So there's been new growth even since it was mowed in the, in the last few days. But first of all, we're doing a long distance shot so that you can look at this lovely big tree which is one of the key identifiers for the mushroom that I'm about to show you. And when I first found the mushroom, I must say I was a little bit stumped because I don't really uh, normally see this type of tree growing like this. This is a poplar tree. And I associate poplar trees with being big, tall, straight, thin trees. Whereas this one, as you can see, is uh, got, a, it's got a lovely wide girth and it's not growing in what I consider to be a normal, normal way for poplars. But come in close and I'll show you the, um, the leaves of the tree. So I saw these leaves and felt a little bit more secure. These are the leaves of a poplar. They're sort of halfway between birch leaves and, and lime tree leaves. And uh, on this particular tree, we've got loads of these crazy galls growing. I've looked them up and I can't find any information on what's causing those, but I would, I would bet that they're an insect of some sort. Now, the poplar tree in the mushroom foraging world is famous for the poplar field cap or the velvet piapino is another name for it. I think it gets called the chestnut mushroom by some people and the piapino as well. It's a mushroom that's been cultivated all over Europe for, uh, for millennia, I think actually. I think uh, I was reading earlier on before I did this video that Pliny the Elder, a Roman naturalist, wrote about how to cultivate the mushroom I'm going to show you back in the first century AD. So that's how long this mushroom's been popular. Um, like I say, the fully mature ones have been mowed over, but we have got quite a few young ones around. These are, these are sort of middle-aged. I think we should come over here because the most typical example of our young poplar field caps were somewhere around here. My eyes have completely failed me for a second. Here they go. Right, so they start off with this nice dark cap, which will crack when it gets a little bit sunny. Now, from there, they will lighten up as they grow. And if you follow me this way, we'll see lots of them dotted around. Here's a, a cluster of them just beginning to lighten. And you can see they grow in tufts with lots of mushrooms coming from just one area. And here's another little tuft. Like I said, they're a very vigorous mushroom. And they grow almost exclusively on poplar, hence the name, and willow. Now down here, we've got some more mature versions still in good condition. So I'm gonna show you the ID features. As I said, they're growing clumps. And what you can see here is there a mushroom with a skirt and a reasonably long and fairly fibrous stem. Now the gills, you zoom in there, they're sort of adnate to decurrent. These ones are adnate, as you can see, they attach to the stem. They're certainly not free gills, which differentiates this from a few of its potential lookalikes. Now, another thing that I find to be quite a good indicator of this mushroom is if you look at the cat, it's almost like the skin of the cap is stretched over some fine sinewy muscle. I don't really know how better to describe it, but you can see all of 
the sort of uh, veins and crevices where the skin is tight over the texture of the cap underneath. Now, as you can see, there's still that darker section in the middle of the cap. And when this opens up, it will be reasonably light, still with that dark bit in the middle, but it will open up to flat, much like an agaric mushroom. But the gills are always lighter. Now, when I first started foraging, I was, uh, I was quite tentative about this mushroom. It used to be in the Agrocybe family. And the Agrocybe family, for me, was one that, from what I read in the books, was very difficult to identify and difficult to, to identify the individual species in the family. And there's some of them that you don't want to eat, and quite a lot of them are listed as just, as just bitter and not worth it. But the Agrocybe cylindracea was always talked about as a very tasty mushroom. And I'd read about it being popular in Greece and in Portugal. Um, but over here, I didn't know many people who could tell me how to ID this mushroom. Simple though, look for poplar trees. It's the one that generally grows on dead bits of poplar. Also, to differentiate it from the, the rest of the agrocybes, um, it's got a much fatter stem. Uh, there's one uh, sort of clade of mushrooms, if you like, called the agrocybe precox clade or complex, where there's seven or so mushrooms that, that are difficult to individually identify. And when I read things like that as a forager, then I'm always quite wary. But this mushroom has been farmed off into a completely different genus now. So this is, uh, it's got a numerous, or a number of different potential scientific names. Um, the one that's most commonly accepted, I believe, is Cyclocybe, that's its genus, uh, Cylindracea. But you might also read about it as the Cyclocybe Igorita. Um, you will, in old books, find it as the Agrocybe uh, Igorita, or you might even find it as the, uh, I think it's the Foliota uh, Cylindracea. So it's a mushroom with a complex taxonomy. But if you've found a mushroom looking like this underneath a poplar tree or a willow tree, especially dead bits of willow or poplar, then it's most likely to be this mushroom. Most likely is not good enough in the mushroom world. We want you to be 100% sure before you start eating anything. So if you do find a mushroom that looks like this, just watch this video again or uh, look on our website to, to make sure that you've got the right mushroom. But if you have found your poplar field cap, then you've got a lovely prize because this is a mushroom with a really lovely nutty flavor. It's uh, great for creamy sauces, my Portuguese friends have been telling me. Um, I do say that about most mushrooms, though. I do like a, a creamy mushroom sauce. Uh, but this one is one that's renowned across Europe for, for that exact reason. And here we go. Imagine this mushroom coming out to almost flat, like an agaric would do, like an agaricus mushroom would do, but always with lighter gills. The ring on the stem and growing beside our friend the poplar tree. So there we go, a lovely find for today. Um, if you want to find out more go to www.wildfooduk.com